Icebergs are not a rare topic. On the internet, you're going to find hundreds of iceberg charts from your favorite shows, movies, games, toy lines, and even ads. And that's only naming a few. Thomas and Friends icebergs have been around for a while now. A couple months ago, I made a video explaining a Thomas and Friends iceberg that I had made. And, well, there are a couple of things I missed, as well as mistakes I made. In this video, I'll be talking about the mistakes I made, as well as explaining the added stuff. We have a lot to talk about, so let's get started. If I missed anything or made a mistake, let me know in the comments below. These mistakes were pointed out by user JoshuaW56, so shout out to them. In layer 1, I said that Mattel bought HIT Entertainment in 2011. However, Mattel officially bought HIT in 2012. Well, yes, Mattel bought HIT Entertainment in 2012. They started buying HIT on the 24th of October 2011, and completed on the 1st of February of the next year. So, I wasn't fully wrong. But I wasn't right either, so... In layer 4, I talked about a lost take and play deluxe set number 05. Well, according to Joshua, sometimes there are gaps in the skewed code lists, so it's possible that take and play set number 305 never existed in the first place. But it's only a theory. A THOMAS THEORY! In the same layer, I said that Boko and Hank were going to appear in CGI. While it was true for Boko, it wasn't for Hank. The rumor of Hank returning started back in 2018, when the Soldier Island fan site watched an early screening of the movie Big World Big Adventures, and said to be on the lookout for a returning character. Most people expected Hank to make a return, however, it wasn't Hank that returned, it was, out of all characters, Sam. What? What the fuck? Yes, Sam, who was only made to sell a wooden railway toy, was the returned character. WHY? The rumor of Hank making a comeback kept on going until season 22, and well, neither Hank nor Boko made a return. Also in the same layer, I talked about how Hero of the Rails was going to be made in season 12, and Stanley having a role in it. While it was true that it was going to be like season 12, it wasn't true for Stanley having a role. This one is more of a miss here rather than a mistake, but I think it's still a good idea to point out. In layer 6, when I was talking about Barry, I pronounced his class as a BR Standard Class 2260. But what I meant to say was a BR Standard Class 2 260. So, my bad. This one is not really a mistake, but more of a fun fact that I didn't put it in the iceberg. But Joshua also pointed out. Shane Aker, who would have directed the Adventures of Thomas movie, was also the director of the movie 9, which was also animated by Arc Productions, or as it used to be called, Stars Animation. However, Aker has a lot of cancelled projects, so that's kinda sad. As far as I know, those are all of the mistakes I made in the original iceberg, but if I miss anything, let me know in the comments below. Now we'll go to the newly added stuff I put on the iceberg, so let's go! Layer 2. Thomas Video Games When you think of Thomas Video Games, you probably think of the many Roblox games made by fans, but I'll be talking about the official games. Thomas has had video games for years, starting with its first game in 1990, where the game Thomas and Tankagen Friends first released on the ZX Spectrum and the Amstrad CPC. It was also released on the Commodore 64 with updated colors, and was re-released on DOS, Amiga, and the Atari ST in 1992. Then, in 1993, another game for the Super Nintendo and the Sega Genesis was released, called the Adventure Series. Also in 93, Tom's Tank Engine and Friends 2, or Tom's Big Race, came out. Where the Fat Controller has a gun! Wonderful. Following that, there has been other games, mostly for PC, but sometimes there have been console games like on the Wii, DS, 3DS, and the PlayStation, even though most of them are Japan exclusive. And we can't forget the mobile games. We got games like Go Go Thomas, Magical Tracks, Minis, etc. Maybe I'll do a video about the many video games the series got. Audrey Extravaganza The Audrey Extravaganza is a yearly event hosted by the Talikin Railway, where they celebrate the legacy of Wilbur Audrey, the railway series, and the series connection with the railway. A lot of things get revealed at the event. 
like Audrey's layouts, behind the scenes materials from the series, as well as the railway's engines dressed up as the characters from the scholarly railway. Tanaklin as Scarlowy, Dolgok as Reneas, Sir Hayden as Sir Handel, Edward Thomas as Peter Sam, etc. Pee Pee Joke in a Scarf for Percy. There it is. In the season 3 episode, A Scarf for Percy, there was a pee pee joke when Percy was talking about Henry's funnel. Engines don't wear scarves. Engines with proper funnels do, replied Percy. You've only got a small one. <laughs> Layer 4 Duke, Colin, and Eric in CGI. These three characters were meant to appear in CGI. Duke was shown in the storyboards for the episode Kevin to Stevie, and Colin was meant to appear in King of the Railway. Derek was meant to appear in the episode Bust My Buffers, that was written as Paxman. However, when it came to animating it, it was mistaken for Paxton. Whoops! Institute of Innovations This is a weird movie that was made in 2013 by Studio Hansa. The film was, and I quote, created to promote Thomas and Friends to commissioners and merchandising partners worldwide. Yeah, a movie about scientists doing tests on characters, like giving the fat controller steroids, Percy getting Botox, Thomas growing wings, and surviving the apocalypse, was used to promote the series to other people. What were they thinking? Unfortunately, as of now, the full film hasn't been released to the public, and the only way to watch it is if you set up a private screening, which I'm not sure you can still do now. Look out for the train. This is a goof from the episode Tom's and the Trucks, where an unknown crew member says, Look out for the train. Look out for the train. Which disrupts the episode, but continues on like it never happened. To this day, no one knows who said it and how it was accidentally added in the episode. Thomas at the Stinky Cheese CGI Test In 2008, Stardust Pictures was asked to make a CGI test by remaking the episode Thomas and the Stinky Cheese, as Hit wanted to transfer the show into CGI. Only a few clips have surfaced and it's unknown if the full episode was remade, and if it was, it's unknown if a copy still exists. Stardust Stardust is an animation company from the UK that opened in 2007. They were the studio that did the CGI test and were even planned to be the animators before getting replaced by Nitrogen Studios. The studio also worked on Shark Tale, The Hunger Games, Madagascar, and more. Lair 5 Cancelled Earl Toys Before Earl lost the IP, they had toys planned that were cancelled. One of those toys is an Earl model of the very series character, Mike. Guru Studios Guru Studios is a Canadian-based animation company that worked on shows like The Backyardians and Paw Patrol. They were originally pitched by Hit to animate the series after Nitrogen left. The studio went as far as coming up with concept art for King of the Railway, before getting replaced by Arc Productions. A little fun fact, some people who worked for Arc and Jamfield now work for Guru. Cancelled PS1 Game A game for the original PlayStation, based on the series by RuneCraft, was in development. It would be an educational game set to be released in 1999, but was cancelled for unknown reasons. The lead artist, David Tully, said that the game didn't get far in development, and the only things that were made were models of Thomas, Toby, Terence, and Birdie, a few environments, a few test demos, and some planning sheets. Layer 6 Barry as a tank engine Although for years fans thought that Barry was a tender engine, we were all wrong. According to Richard Audrey, the son of Christopher and grandson of Wilbert, said that Barry was always going to be based on an LMS Ivet Class 2 262T tank engine, the same basis as Arthur. So, oops. <coughs> Take and play CGI renders. Quote unquote CGI renders of Arthur, Coldy, Big City Engine, Class 40, Stetney, and Fearless Freddy were made for their Taking Play release. At the time, fans thought it meant that those characters were going to return. Spoiler alert, they didn't. 
It's now been theorized that they're not even CGI renders and are 2D illustrations that look 3D and were likely only made for merchandising. Duplo Thomas in a Lego Movie In a movie pitched by Blair Studios for Lego, a Duplo Thomas was seen. The movie wasn't picked up. Disney The Disney company had the opportunity to buy the series twice, in 2002 and again in 2011. Disney passed both times. And now, finally, Layer 7. Journey Beyond Sodor as the finale. With how the movie was portrayed, fans felt the Journey Beyond Sodor could have been the finale to the series. What did I miss? Diesel tends to death in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. In an alternate ending, Diesel 10 and PT Boomer would have been turned into Sludge by Junior Scarf, but were scrapped in hopes for a sequel. As far as I know, it has been officially confirmed. Hero of the Rails Bad Ending When the movie Hero of the Rails got a game for the Nintendo DS, a bad ending was considered, which would involve Hero being scrapped. However, it was dropped. This has not been confirmed and is likely a hoax. Red Thomas Red Thomas is a And there you have it, the updated Thomas and Friends Iceberg. If I missed anything or made a mistake, let me know in the comments below. Until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. professionals. I'm f***ing miserable.